How about some bare bones cabbie lake goodness that will inspire you? This is the Azul Inspire. And this is, in my opinion, their most inspiring product yet, mainly because the list of specs includes almost nothing, meaning that you can turn it into anything you want. And it starts off at three different levels. You can get an i3, you can get an i5, or you can get an i7. It goes all the way up to 2.7 gigahertz. Uh, and those are um, gonna be dual core processors. Just pick the one you need, depending on what you're gonna be using with it. And what we're gonna do in this video is talk a little bit about what we're gonna use this for, and then just sort of maybe see what you guys could use this for. Um, on the inside here, of course, it's Cabby Lake. You can expand the RAM up to 32 gigabytes. Got a, you know, a couple SO DIMMs in there. And then as far as storage goes, you can throw an M.2 in here and there's room for a two and a half inch drive. You know, if you wanted to get a spinning disc, like a large spinning disc and throw that in here for storage and then use an M.2 as your OS and just for speed, you could do that. Or you could get an SSD and an M.2, whatever you like. In your happy little world, there's no wrong answer. Maybe there is. The other thing that's cool about this is um, you got like a nice tiny footprint, but the entire thing is fanless, so no sounds. No sounds whatsoever. Even on the i7, uh, you don't have to worry about any sounds. If you guys wanna know the exact parts, we have the i3 7100U, the i5 7200U, or the i7 7500U, and those are the super low power parts, uh, but they're still gonna be fast enough to do even stuff like Photoshop if you have the other components in the system that are gonna allow you to do that. So if you get like, you know, an M.2 and you get a lot of RAM, you're gonna be able to use Photoshop and Premiere, maybe not 4K, but you can watch 4K. The graphics, you've got the Intel HD uh, 620. That's okay for like indie gaming and just like light desktop use and that sort of thing. Uh, but if you wanna use this for crazy gaming, well, you can do that if you wanna hook it up as a thin client for Steam or something like that, and then just stream your games to maybe your your projector or your TV or something like that. And we have dual band Wi-Fi 2.4, and we have a five gigahertz antenna, and this is wireless AC to give you the nice speeds. Uh, above, above and beyond that, on the back here, we've got all kinds of different ports. Gig Ethernet, got a couple of USB 3.0 ports. Uh, we have HDMI and Display Port. We can do full-on 4K, 60 hertz with this, no problem. Got your DC, your Kensington lock. Uh, and then down here on the bottom, that's a serial port. A lot of you guys are gonna love having a serial port on this that'll open up an entirely new world of options for you. On the front here, we have more USB 3 and a Type-C, plus we have a memory card slot, and then we also have headphone jack right there on the front. The dimensions, 4.9 inches by 4.9 inches by 1.9 inches tall. All right, let's talk about what you can do with this. Oh, oh by the way, it's 12 volt, uh, three amp, so not gonna draw a lot of power at all. All right, let's talk about what you can do with this. You can install any operating system you like. Um, I threw Ubuntu on here, ran just fine. I mean, after that, it's just like, what do you wanna do? What do you wanna install? You wanna install Steam? You wanna install some applications? You wanna run a server? You wanna put this in the closet and do that? You can totally uh, use this thing as a server, as long as you're not getting insane amounts of traffic, depending on your bandwidth at your house. You know, you could use it as a home server, file server, uh, hook it up to some external bays and that sort of thing with USB. Uh, that's possible. Um, I think one of the things that we're gonna be doing with this is using it as a storage locker for all sorts of altcoins. There's lots and lots of cryptocurrency on this. And with the new uh, launch that you guys have seen right now of the Epic Pants store, if you guys are doing cryptocurrency transactions, we're actually going to be storing those on hardware wallets stored here. And then that'll also be backed up to the NAS, like all the DAP files and that sort of thing to make sure that we don't lose any of those coins. So that's one really good use for this. Um, you guys could use this of course as a media center PC in the living room or something like that. And this could also be a desktop replacement for people who don't do a lot of gaming or heavy productivity work. If you're doing light productivity work, like I said, like just some designing here and there, maybe some PDFs uh, in Photoshop and you have a decent amount of RAM, it's gonna be totally fine for that. This is not made to be like a super cheap, low speed, um, you know, like, just device to only watch Netflix or something like that, because you can do a lot more than that. If you want to do that, you can check out the Byte 3 and just get that, and then watch your Netflix and do your Steam. Uh, this is really going to be for people who want to do a little bit more. Um, and like I said, for desktop replacements, for a lot of people out there who have offices um, and they want everyone to have an actual desktop computer instead of a, you know running a thin client or something like that, this is a good way to go. You can fill your entire office with these things, um, and the wireless should be fast enough for everybody. That's one thing, um, you know, like. If you want to get a good present for a relative or something, I'm just thinking like different uses. This would be great for someone who only sends email documents uh, and browses the internet lightly, you know, does some video watching and that sort of thing. So it'd be great for people who just do general use type stuff. Um, other than that, I'm kind of curious as to what some of you guys out there might uh, use this for. I mean, it's built really freaking solid. These Azul products are built 
like tanks. Um, and that's probably why they're like, you know, they came out of nowhere a few years ago in 2013, and that's why they're one of the fastest growing desktop PC manufacturers or small form PC manufacturers out there. So their stuff is just built uh, really nicely and they're an American company here. So I really like what they're doing. I don't really have much to say negative about it. It is what it is. It allows you to expand upon it and let you create whatever you want. And I find that to be very inspiring. Anyway, check it out in the comments and be sure to head over to the store. The new store is freaking awesome. It's better than the old store and it's better than your store. Grab one of these while you're there. And thanks for the reviews, guys. We now have a review system. Uh, if you've purchased a product, you'll be able to review it on the website. If you haven't, go away, trolls. Sorry, you can't review it. T-shirts too. See you in the comments.